Well, today a step towards hope and healing in Highland Park. The community marking one year since a mass shooting that killed seven people and hurt dozens of others during their Independence Day parade. CBS 2's Marissa Perlman is in Highland Park where the community is taking steps to move forward. Resilient, that's the word we've been hearing all day long here in Highland Park. This was a non-traditional 4th of July that began right here on the steps of City Hall, just feet from a memorial in honor of those seven victims. We're told this was the first step in a long healing process. The salvation of the community is watchfulness of the citizen. Roger Biondi, lifelong Highland Park resident, carries this coin with him to the memorial ceremony. It's the town's motto. And a reminder, he says, of why he showed up to stand with his neighbors one year later. I just feel a, a, an attachment to the community and I just wanted to express my condolences to people that I hadn't seen. <laughs> Biondi, one of more than 2,000 people here to remember, to listen, and to stand together. First in song. Oh, say can you see? And in a moment of silence for the seven killed and dozens of others hurt and still healing. This doesn't end today. This is not just next year. This is lifetimes of an impact. We come together today. United in remembrance. And Mayor Nancy Rotaring alongside faith leaders saying there's no right way to face this day. We all have been touched directly and personally by what happened. Time alone won't heal this wound. Time alone won't bring back our feelings of safety. The memorial followed by a community walk down the same parade route meant to symbolize the city's goal to reclaim the town and show its resilience. It was important for us to say that evil doesn't win. And this is our parade route, and this is our community that we are taking back. Taking steps together to stand in the face of tragedy. 5,000 people registered for the day's events. More than 2,000 showed up here for the memorial service, and 500 walked alongside their community members down that parade route. As for what's next, the mayor says plans are in motion to make a permanent memorial here in Highland Park in honor of those seven victims. Reporting in Highland Park, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News.